Thank you very much, Sumadog. Sumadog? Yeah, yeah. First of all, you want to build a subway to the sea, you want to fix the schools, you want to restore Grand Avenue, you can't even fix the clock here on this podium. Do me a favor, before you try building a subway to the sea, will you fix the damn clock? Secondly, in case you missed it, Mayor Antonio Villagrosa sings from the public comment podium just like Zuma Dog has so many times. And this meeting was so long, I already went over to the library, the Van Nuys Library, and I already posted it on my website, YouTube. Just go to youtube.com slash Villagrosa and you can watch the mayor sing just like Zuma Dog and vote who's a better singer, Zuma Dog singing journey or the mayor singing Stevie Wonder. I think it's a last slide, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Speaking about the mayor and trying to fix the schools, let's talk a little bit about LAUSD, y'all. First of all, the mayor's spending all kinds of money to defend the AB 1381 that's guaranteed to keep on losing, y'all, and it's disruptive. Well, so they go, well, that's okay, because it's with private money. The mayor raised private funding, y'all, and now he's trying to take over the school board. The mayor is attempting to take over the Los Angeles school board elections by backing with his own political steamroll machine, his own candidates and it's completely inappropriate because state charter says that the schools should be run separately from the city hall. So what are you doing, Mayor? You're violating the spirit of the Constitution. And I like to say, they again say, well, it's with private money that we're backing these candidates. Well, excuse me, Mayor. Zuma Dog heard that those people donating private money also have construction projects in front of the city that they're waiting for the mayor to approve, y'all. So Zuma Dog will be looking into this private money. What contracts are before the city with these construction projects that the mayor will be signing off on? And I think the L.A. Times and Daily News and L.A. Weekly all need to start looking into this, y'all. And speaking of these papers, thank you, Councilman Zine, Councilman Smith, and candidate Alvin Parra for your quotes that I'll be using in my article coming out next week. And Zuma Dog would also like to say, Bill Rosendahl, shame on you for allowing Mark Antonio Grant and Linda Lux to steamroll the city meetings, the neighborhood councils for the Venice Expression Group. If Mayor Antonio wants to just prevent public input, have him send down his gang thugs that watch these meetings like he does for the town hall. I will not allow Mark Antonio Grant and Linda Sucks Lux to hijack the community. I, please. Thank you. We're finished with your comments. Um, Light two, is there any announcements? Yes, Mr. Rosendahl. Uh, thank you, Madam President. First, I want to restate with one of the um, speakers spoke that tied to democracy. Stevie Wonder has always been recognized for his philanthropic contributions, received the Distinguished Services Award from the President's Com Committee on Employment of Handicapped People, the Honorary Global Founders Award for Mothers Against Drunk Driving, he received a Golden Globe and an Academy Award in 1984 for I just called to say I love you. I just called from the movie Woman, the Woman in Red. He was inducted into the Rock and 